Good morning, everyone. Lots going on as usual. And do you know what happened last night while you were sleeping? Do you understand how big a deal what happened last night while you were sleeping is? They passed C10. C10 went through, sailed through, no problems at all. And there's so much stuff that happened as well. Yesterday, we had the uh, PHAC came to the House of Commons and they were supposed to deliver documents and uh, they did not show up with the documents. They showed up with nothing. Uh, and so the Speaker of the House is, is pending. We're, we're going to find out what happens next, but first we'll go through all that. So first, let's, let's talk about C10 and what happened while you were sleeping. Just voted in favor of a motion to restore Section 4.1, says Dan Albus of Bill C10, which would exempt user-generated content from CRTC regulations. Um, while Liberals, NDP, and Bloc are voting against it, it's Canada's Conservatives that are standing up for freedom uh, of expression online. Yeah, but it's, it, I don't know that it's going to work because, you know, the NDP, Bloc, and Liberals are all voting against it, right? So this was last night. This is a Liberal Member of Parliament, and this is how seriously he takes all of this. He's out, um, he's out having a, I don't know, a sale while this vote is happening or something? I'm not sure. I know, Mr. Speaker, just to <laughs> So he's voting no on Bill C-10. Uh, Charlie Angus voted yes. He was like, you know what we've got to do? We're liberal back backbenchers, so we've got to make sure that this vote gets through for Justin Trudeau. Um, I'll show you all of the votes as well. Michael Geist says, Bill C-10 heads to final vote in the House of Commons. Vote should start just after 1.30 a.m. and wrap around 1.45 a.m. as most Canadians sleep. Bill will head to Senate, where senators have said there is a 0% chance it will be approved this week before summer break. The problem with that is, uh, and somebody else points out out on here, Justin Trudeau has been stacking the Senate with liberals for a while. I think that sometimes uh, party trumps um, what tr trumps common sense, trumps the greater good. I'm not sure, um, but I'm not going to be very relaxed until the summer session starts and Bill C10 hasn't received um, approval from the Senate and then royal assent, etc., and becomes law. It is a, a stinky, stinky bill, and it is, it, it's not good. Here's Charlie Angus, he voted for it. Where is he, Charlie Angus? Yes, you bet. Yeah, let's pass this, let's pass this thing. Let's limit those internet alt-writers, right? It's incredible what they can um, feel is justified in this context. John Brassard says, breaking 1.31 a.m. as you slept, your freedoms took another hit from the Trudeau party. A C-10 passed in Parliament, endangering free expression and net neutrality. You will also pay with increases in the price of subscription to digital platforms. Terrible, terrible. 1.05 a.m., Senator Batters says, is this the Trudeau government's idea of a democracy? Uh, forcing through third reading in the House of Commons vote on the awful anti-free speech bill, C-10 in the dead of night using closure. Shutting down parliamentarians' free speech so they can shut down Canadians' free speech? Shameful. And yeah, very, very shameful. We've got other senators speaking out as well. Uh, Pamela Wallen speaks out as soon as I can get my mouse in line here. Oh, that's the wrong one. Here it is. Uh, abusing parliamentary pr process to ram through a bill that restricts free speech and imposes censorship is dangerous, says Wallen. And yeah, I would agree with that. And as soon as I can find my mouse. Sorry, everyone. Here is... Alberta guy, he says, well, it won't get through the Senate, so it's dead for now. I don't know about that. I, I, I don't... The idea that um, it won't pass Senate and we don't have to worry about it, I think is folly. I think we definitely have to worry about it. I can't believe that it got this far. I thought when Rhoda came out and said um, all of these uh, non-voted for silent and sneaky... Um, what's the word? Uh, Non-transparent. I can't. I, they they closed off um, the voting on anybody even knowing what was in the movements they wanted, and then none of the movements were actually brought in into the committee through the correct process. Um, so Rhoda said, "You can't do any of that. That's all. That's all null and void." So during the third reading, they're voting um, one way or the other, and yeah, using these using these parliamentary procedure stuff to ram through a bill that nobody really wants, except for like the NDP who's back backbenchers of the liberals and the bloc and the liberals and 
It's frustrating. It's very, very frustrating. There's nothing. It doesn't seem like there's a way out because when you look at the power of the Liberals plus the NDP plus the Greens, that's a large, that's a lot of Canadians. And I don't know if a lot of Canadians are on board with the removal of your free speech, um, but it seems like even in this minority government, making the argument is has been made gauche, has been made like you're not allowed to do that. If you make an argument like that, you're probably racist. And it's like, well, hold on. And they've tied they've tied that very close together. They've and they've done that on purpose. It's it's not a mistake with them um, tying those, making that association, tying those terms together. They don't like being questioned, and the way to to stop questioning is to call names, right? And ad hominem attacks. Go look at my climate brawls. It's very funny. It's very funny. He stopped responding. <laughs>